Welcome back, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Manalus Dredge. I actually recorded this deck about a year ago, and you can find that video in the card above. That video was $400. Okay. And some of the differences between that list and the list that we'll be playing today is that there's Mind Break Traps in there and Leyline of the Void. Okay, sure. So those cards are a little bit more expensive. Or do they make the deck better? I don't actually think so. And... You know, we'll discuss that a little bit more, but the list we're playing today, $230 flat as of the day I am recording this. So a little bit cheaper, almost half, not quite, but almost half as cheap. All right, so let's talk about those cyborg changes real quick. So I mentioned Leyline of the Void and Mind Brew Trap. Mind Brew Trap was a consistent underperformer because it's really only good against turn zero combo. And that's decks like the Epic Gamble or whatever. And usually those decks can be disrupted by the graveyard. So cards like Fairy Macabre are usually pretty good against them. Or Leyline of Sanctity is very good against them. And Leyline of Sanctity is very good right now in the Legacy metagame. Grief decks are everywhere. And it's because Grief plus Reanimate has really made a powerful resurgence in this format. Taking some of the modern scam uh, popularity and bringing it into Legacy. So Discard is making a huge comeback. Veil of Summer is making a comeback. And while Leyline of Sanctity is like a free Veil of Summer for us. So this deck is really weak to discard spells. So in order to combat that, we're playing Leyline. And I'm choosing to run Fairy Macabre instead of Leyline of the Void. And this isn't an accident. So I've previously played Leyline of the Void and it was fine. But the thing about Fairy Macabre is that it doesn't force you to skip a turn. Because with this deck, you always want to be on the draw. That's the thing about Manalus Dredge. You always, always, always want to be on the draw. And if you put a Leyline into play, you have to skip a turn. Okay. I think that Leyline of Sanctity is so good that it breaks the rule. Well, we have Fairy Macabre, which does a Leyline of the Void impression, except we don't have to skip a turn. We can just hold it in our hand until it's good enough. But also... There's really only two popular graveyard combo decks at the moment. And then there's some fringe archetypes. We have Black Red Reanimator, Rakdos Reanimator, and that deck is everywhere. Leyline of the Void, very good against them. No doubt. Okay. But then there's Cephalid Breakfast. And Leyline of the Void is actually kind of embarrassing against them. And Fairy Macop is much better against that deck. So you could play a split, but I think that just four Fairy Macop should be good against both. And that's what I'm really relying on here today. So enough of the cyborg choices. Well, we'll actually come back and discuss a few of these other ones. But let's talk about the main deck. So in that previous video that I pointed out earlier, I did not run the Balustrade Spy Dread Return combo. And people were livid. They were so angry that I didn't run that combo. And instead, I was running a more fair game plan. So today, we're playing the combo list. It has the Oops, I Win combo. See what I did there? Oops. And the idea is that we don't run lands. So when you put Bailey Street Spy onto the battlefield, you target yourself, you mill your entire deck, triggering Narc Amoebas, and I guess prized Amalgams, but those won't matter. Uh, and then you, you know, put your Narc Amoebas into play. You Dread Return, a Flare of the Hatebound. You create a bunch of triggers with your Bridge from Blows. You deal damage with Flare of the Hatebound. You can bring back Hogax over and over, Legend ruling them and creating more and more zombies. Um, you can also Dread Return again, bringing back large creatures like Phantasmagorian and dealing a whole lot of damage. So that is the Balustrade Spy part of the combo. Well, let's rewind all the way to the bare basics. Let's say you know nothing about this deck at all, right? I probably should have started there in this video instead of four minutes in. But the idea is that you always want to be on the draw, and Phantasmagorian is always the card you want to discard. So it's sort of like a bizarre of Baghdad in this. And if you play Vintage Dredge, you're very familiar with Bizarre Baghdad. So we want to discard this card on the first uh, draw discard step of the turn. And from there, you can discard three cards and return it. You can actually stack this. So you could discard... Uh, six cards, nine cards. You cannot discard seven. It really needs to be, you know... Uh, by three so 
that's what we're looking to do here today. And then from there, you just draw dredge every turn, draw dredge every turn. And then you can go with the oops value route, or I guess it's not really value, it's just a combo. Or you can go with the value route with Icarids, Prize to Melgums, Narc Amoebas, Cabal Therapy, and just sort of create that uh, value game plan through attacking. You don't have to be a combo deck. Uh, a card that is missing from the deck list is Nether Shadow. And I played that in the previous build, and it was just really underwhelming most of the time. It's a card that's stock. So if you look at other lists out there, you're probably going to find it. I am choosing to run Grief instead. So some lists play Grief, some lists play Chancellor of the Annex. I am playing both. If you're looking to make this deck even cheaper, you could cut one of these. A play set of Chancellor of the Annex is $15. Nether Shadows are a dollar, maybe two. They're very, very cheap. Uh, Grief is $65 for a play set as of right now. And I am looking to play a cheap deck, but also the most competitive list I can make for this archetype. So nothing in this list today is a budget choice. This is truly what I would play if I was to play Manalist Dredge at this very moment. So you can make it cheaper. You could play Nether Shadow. Those are fine things to do. But this is the list that I think is best. So if you want to play Nether Shadows, hey, that's cool. But I don't think they're actually that good. They do help you cast Dread Return to bring back your spies. That is a function that you have with them. But I think having Chancellor to slow your opponent down or Grief to disrupt your opponent will go further than the extra creature for the Dread Return. And that's sort of my point here. Um, but yeah... I mean, I've covered most of the main deck. I mean, we have our core dredgers. We have Golgari Thug, Stinkweed Imp. You're probably familiar with those from Modern. Golgari Grave Troll, if you're a Legacy Dredge player. It's Restricted in Vintage. And then in Legacy specifically, we're playing Shambling Shell. And the reason why is it's a green card for our cyborg Force of Vigors. So we have 10 green cards in the main deck, including Hogak Arisen, Necropolis. And this is to blow up opposing copies of Leyline of the Void or whatever might be stopping us from winning the game. That's what this is here for. And because we don't play mana, we need removal spells for things like Containment Priest. And that's what Contagion is here for. You could play Sickening Shoal, but in the last time that I played the deck, I kind of wish that the Sickening Shoal was a Contagion. So I decided to swap it for this video, see how Contagion felt. They're both fine cards. And then we have an Ashen Rider. This is mostly for the Bellustrade Spy combo part of the deck. So if for some reason your opponent has a Leyline of Sanctity in play or something that might be stopping you from winning, you could Dread Return in Ashen Rider, remove that permanent, and then win the game. That's another option you have. So that is my deck tech. I hope you liked it. Not exactly short, but I hope it was sweet. And I will see you in the first round and don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation dax that's enough for now let's play some magic oh no we've lost the die roll in match number one whatever shall we do so here we have a wonderful hand it has the phantasmagorian which is a card we want why won't you ever zoom there we go we have the chancellor of the annex we have grief i wanted to snap keep this but it doesn't actually have a drudger that worries me um so mulliganing with this deck is super dangerous because every mulligan you take is a free turn for your opponent. So we could hope to hit one of our 16 dredge creatures off the top, or we can mulligan. And I'm not sure what to do here, if I'm being completely honest. I, I believe you're supposed to mulligan, but it's such a feel bad. Here we have dredgers. I think we're supposed to keep. And then we'll put the Narcomeba on the bottom of the deck. Taiga, okay. Draw. Bridge from below. If they're on lands, they have crop rotation for Bajukabog at instant speed, which is pretty dangerous. Not looking good. This looks like lands. Chrome Mox. What is going on here? Is this a uh, Gruul initiative? Looks like it. Another Simeon Spirit Guide. And it is. It is Gruul initiative. They play an Undermountain Adventurer. 
Maybe I'll move this, because or actually I could probably move this stack. When I play Mana Strategy, I like to have the graveyard popped out like this. So next time the stack comes up, I will put it somewhere else. And we'll discard Golgari Thug. Alright, we'll we'll slide the stack right up here. Alright, so their under under mountain adventure becomes a five six. Manskin boo, the clock is on. I'm not gonna have much time here. Okay, so now they're attacking for nine. Next turn they get to trap. So I am looking like I'm dead. So I would need a very good dredge here. So we'll cycle the street wraith, triggering the Golgari thug. Um, not very good. Okay. We'll draw and dredge the Golgari Thug. Dark Amoeba triggers. Yes. Unfortunately, we don't have a bridge from below in the graveyard. I could discard bridge right now. But I believe I'm just dead to the Minskinboo next turn. Am. Okay, so we've lost this one. We can concede. Okay, so we likely want Force of Vigor. They're probably a Leyline of the Void deck. What to board out? I don't think that we're going to be taking the fair route against them, so I think you could probably get rid of the prize to meld. And let's try this. Game number two. No, we do not want to be on the play. All right, so this hand looks pretty good. We have the Phantasmagorian. We have a Dredger. We can speed up our game plan with the Street Wraith. The downside here is if they open up on a ley line of the Void. Uh, let's hope that it doesn't happen. We'll keep. And there it is. So now we have to draw one of our four copies of Force of Vigor. And turn one, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yikes. Pop out that graveyard. All right, so we're supposed to cycle the Street Wraith immediately just in case we draw into the Force of Vigor. And we did not draw it. We'll go to clean up, discard the Narc Amoeba. Play the Line of the Void. It's a brutal one. Ouch. Draw. No Ley Line. Or, I'm sorry, no Force of Vigor. Uh, we'll discard Golgari Thug. Minsk and Boo. Uh, our clock is looking like it's about to be over. So, they can attack for six here, and then they have lethal next turn. Ouch. Yeah. We are not capable of winning this game. Ah, uh, that was a tough round one. So, zero and one? I'm, I believe that we can get some wins. So, the thing about Manual Stretch is it's best against blue decks. So blue decks tend to not run Leyline into the Void, which is one of the reasons why. It's also better against slow decks, and slow decks tend to be blue. So let's head on over to match number two and see if we can get paired against some blue decks. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. It's match number two when we've lost the die roll. Perfect. We have a dredger we will keep. Unfortunately, no Phantasmagorian, no Chancellor of the Annex, no Grief, but you don't mulligan with this deck, not if you can help it. Looted Delta. Our opponent grabs Underground Seeking Cast Dark Ritual. Not looking good for the home team. Lotus Petal. Another Lotus Petal. Okay. Five mana. For an Ad Nauseam. And it looks like our opponent is playing Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Brutal. It looks like they're stopping here. So they could go Lion's Eye Diamond, Lion's Eye Diamond. Discard both the Flashback Pass and Flames. Floating a black. Dark Ritual Infernal Tutor for a Lion's Eye Diamond. Infernal Tutor for... Hmm. I think this doesn't win this turn, but I'm going to let the opponent figure that out. Okay. They've played a pair of diamonds. Come on, discard your hand to flashback past and They're doing it. Oh, they had tendrils in hand. Oh, that's so brutal. I think they have me. Yeah, so all they have to do is go Infernal Tutor and go get Lion's Eye Diamond. Infernal Tutor, Lion's Eye Diamond, tendrils, and that wins the game. Or actually, they only have to do it once. This is spell number nine. Unfortunate. We never even got to take a turn. 
That'll do, pig. That'll do. Wow. All right, welcome to Legacy. That happens sometimes. So here we want Leyline of Sanctity. We want these very macabres. So they are a deck that plays Bushclaw Talisman. They're also a deck that plays um, like Lion's Eye Diamonds, but they're not usually sitting on the battlefield, so I don't think you want the Force of Vigor. Once again, we're looking to be a combo deck, so I don't think we need these prized amalgams. Those can go straight to the sideboard. I think we have to keep Icarid so that way we can eventually cast our Dread Returns. Four more cards need to come up. Okay, so I think I'm going to board out the Hogax. It makes the Spy win a little less safe, but I think I need to do it. Maybe we'll shave one Icarid and then like one Shambling Shell. Let's try this. No, I do not want to be on the play. Um, <laughs> do we keep this? I don't even know. I mean, I think we probably have to keep them. We'll put one ley line into play. We don't need to put multiple. Misty Rainforest, and they pass the turn. So, unfortunately, like I mentioned in the deck tech, when you put a ley line into play, it does time walk yourself. Land number two for the opponent. And now we'll go to clean up. Discard that Stinkweed Imp. They have land number three. On their end step, we'll cycle. Dredge. Cycle. Dredge. We'll auto-yield to these abilities. Yes. Phantasmagorian, don't mind. Oh, actually, hold on. We should hold priority on this. So we're going to hold priority. Discard. Actually, I don't see the value in discarding me. I don't think it actually helps me, so I'm not going to do it. Now we'll go to our turn. So we can bring back Icarid. Exile Street Wraith. And now we'll dredge a Golgari Grave Troll. We have Dread Return, but no Spy. Let's go to combat. Attack four, five. We have one bridge from below. We'll target them with a Cabal Therapy. Woo, woo, we got it. All right, we have our first game win. I think we just resubmit. Game number three, our opponent's taking a mulligan. Here we have a hand with no dredgers again. Unfortunate. So we could keep off the back of Street Wraith Fairy Macabre, but I think I'm going to mulligan. Ay, ay, ay. No dredger again, and no ley line. We'll go to five. We have a dredger. I think we're supposed to keep this. Bottom the Narcomoeba. Bottom the troll. We are not in great shape here. If I had capped five, I would have really preferred having a ley line. Okay, our opponent mulligan to four. We're passing. Wonder if they kept surgical extraction. Like they mulliganed aggressively to four and then have done nothing. Okay, draw. Chancellor of the Annex. Yes, the perfect turn three hit. We'll discard our grave troll. With having a Dredger in the graveyard, we are now free to use our Fairy Macabs as we see fit. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. When it plays a Wishclaw Talisman, three cards in hand. And another Wishclaw Talisman. Two cards left. Okay, so they were just looking to avoid discard spells? Sure. We will draw and dredge. Not a whole lot going on there. We will... I guess we have two dredgers. Maybe I should discard the dread return just in case we hit the spy. Another dark ritual from our opponent. Lines of diamond. One card left in hand. Discards ley line of the void. Okay, so they apparently had ley lines. This looks like an ad nauseum. But if they board it in Leyline, maybe they don't have Ad Nauseum. Maybe that's part of the problem here. So is this a Past in Flames? When I'm sitting on Triple Fairy Macabre? <laughs> Let's go. Let's effing go. I am now the proud owner of a Wishclaw Talisman in which my deck is not capable of activating. And they are definitely going for a Past in Flames line here. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Um, let's just say no now. You can have three black. What to do with that Wishclaw Talisman now? Apparently nothing. Ah, oh, I now control a foil on Magic the Gathering Online. Name a worse timeline. All right. We will dredge. 
Nerf Amoeba triggers. Yes. They don't have a hand. I could therapy myself. I don't think that's actually like a great move. We have an Icarid and one bridge. I think I'll pass. The Mycosynth Gardens. Okay. Spicy. Icarid. We will exile a Fairy Macabre. Let's Phantasmagorian. So this way I can dredge six. And there's the spy. Sweet. All right, so we'll go to combat. Swing, swing. And now we will dread return targeting the... F oh, hold on. Dread return targeting value straight spy, wherever it is. I swear I saw it. There it is. Okay. We'll get some zombies. And now we will spy targeting our... Okay. And now we can dread return again. The flare the hate bomb. I don't know. I don't know if I get the trigger. Yeah, I don't get the damage triggers here. So I think I was supposed to sacrifice the zombies instead. All right, so I'm learning. Bear with me. And we'll deal them some damage. All right, so now I'm going to Phantasmagorian holding priority. And I will Phantasmagorian again holding priority. So this is one of the cool things about running Golgari Grave Troll in your deck, by the way. Is that now with this final Dread Return, I'm going to target Golgari Grave Troll and deal them a boatload of damage. Okay, the Undying Trigger happens. Target them. And now we will bring our Golgari Grave Troll back, and it is ginormous. 42-42. Boom! That's how we do. We're one and one. Not bad. Beating Ad Nauseam Tendrils. All right, let's go get some more wins. I'll see you in the third match. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. We have lost the die roll again. Truly, truly unlucky. We'll keep. Reveal our Chancellor of the Annex. Bot sees is countered. Nice try, opponent. Gotcha. Draw. We will go to discard and discard this Phantasmagorian. Opponent plays a Scalding Turn and activates it immediately for an Underground C. They play Thoughts he's targeting me. Sure. What would you like? <laughs> and I can discard the rest of the hand to Phantasmagorian, so it all works out. I guess they get to take the grief here. They do. Ooh, okay. So we're a combo deck. We're Doomsday. Interesting. So I would need quite the good dredge in order to win this, I think. All right, they have built a Doomsday Pile. On their end step, we will hold priority on this Phantasmagorian. Discard some cards. And then in response, we will discard some more cards. Okay, so now we will go to Draw and Dredge. Stinkweed Imp will be our selection, and we hit a Narco. Yes, I want to bring that back. Triggers the prized amalgam. All right, so one brainstorm, two brainstorms, three brainstorms. So there's a brainstorm missing that could be in the pile or in their hand. We'll target them. I think brainstorm is just the best name here. So we'll say that. Ponder, personal tutor. We'll take the ponder. If our opponent built their pile correctly, they can win even with me discarding the ponder here. Okay, we have to pass. So their pile would have wanted to be Brainstorm on top of the Lion's Eye Diamond in a Street Wraith. There's the Brainstorm. There's the Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. I guess that's similar to a Street Wraith. Same idea. Okay. Did you stack your power on? They must have. And that does it. So we got a lucky win that we did not deserve. Leyline is saying that he can come in here. We don't need the fairy macabre that was a misclick. Get that out of here. Come on. 
Ad price amalgam goes out. I wonder if Ashen Rider is actually good because you can remove lands. And I think that has some value. We can board out a Hogak. Okay, we have Phantasmagorian and a Dredger. Keep. Turn one ponder. Brawl. All right, time to discard this Phantasmagorian. Okay. On their end step, let's bring back the Phantasmagorian. And then we will discard some more. Okay. Let's have a good dredge here. Golgari Grave Troll. Dark Amoeba. We did hit a Cabal Therapy. Paired with this Grief. I like that. All right, Grief is on the stack. And a Brainstorm in response. Grief is back on the stack. And a Force of Will. Removing Thassa's Oracle. Okay. We will target them. Get a zombie. And they're smart enough to hide Doomsday on top, so I'm going to name Dark Ritual. Ooh. I was wrong. They just left it all in hand. And this is one mana away from a win. We'll pass. So if they have an island, I'm dead. Or I guess any land, a lotus petal, whatever. A cycler would also kill me. Lion's Eye Diamond. Ball Ritual. Doomsday. Okay, so they've made their pile. They do not have Leyline of the Void in their deck. That was something I was curious about when I was boarding. So if we can somehow get this Ashen Rider into play, that would be amazing for us. So we need a very lucky dredge here. All right, Grave Troll, I believe in you. Ooh, we missed. Swing. Therapy them. We'll take the Brainstorm, but we're probably dead. They don't have any cyclers in their exile, so they likely just built a cycler pile. We have to pass. Really wanted to be able to Ashen Rider their lands this turn. And this should just be a clean. Okay, and there's the Oracle. I think we just resubmit. I mean, in theory, you could bring in the Force of Vigors, but I don't love that. No, I do not want to be on the play. Okay, this hand is fine we'll put a ley line out and hope that we get multiple turns i have a turn one scalding tarn dark ritual into doomsday is going to kill me all right not looking good for the home team so it's worth noting that even if we had mind break trap it wouldn't be good enough here uh doomsday was their second spell just pointing it out that if that was a card you were considering it would not have been relevant if you really, really wanted to um, solve this matchup as Manalist Dredge, you would play Archive Trap. That'll do. Okay, so... Ouch. We're one and two. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four. Unfortunately, we've won the die roll. And this seems like a pretty good hand. I will keep this. All right, opponent, what are you playing? Basic Island. We want to see that. Okay. Maybe not a combo deck for one. Ooh, that was a good draw. All right, so we will discard our Stinkweed Imp. Scalding Tarn. Let's dredge this uh, Stinkweed Imp on the instep using our Street Wraith. Okay, I'm liking this. Yes. We don't have another dredger here. So... I'm going to activate the Phantasmagorian, discarding Thug, Cabal Therapy, and Stinkweed Imp. I am then going to Dredge again. All right, so now we'll go to my turn. Icarids, Exile Street Wraith, Exile Grief, and now we will Dredge a Stinkweed Imp. If we hit Spy, if we hit Spy, we have a win. We did not. All right, so let's go to Combat. Attack for seven. They'll fall to 13 life. And now we can grief, exile, phantasmagorian. They're going to fetch in response. I'm dazed. A little bit confused and dazed. Let's try another grief. Triggers happen. It is, in fact, another combo deck. All right. So 
take the Emrakul. Now we'll grief again. Oh, I could have done this differently. Um, I could have dread returned first, I guess, in between. Like, I think the first grief was correct. I think knowing that they didn't have counter magic, I should have dread returned to deal them extra damage here. This was a misplay. That's my bad. Now the flare. Deal them four. And now we'll take their sneak attack. Yeah, this should have been a win this turn. I punted. I don't think there's a card that would have gotten them out of this situation that they actually play, but I could have had an actual win instead of just a, you know, pass the turn win. Sneak and show. I guess we can board an Ashen Rider, although I don't think it's super good. Probably a little bit better than one of the Hogax. I think we're just supposed to resubmit for the most part. You could board in Force of Vigor, but... They don't usually play sneak attack past the turn. So we have a Chancellor in hand, but no Dredger. Bummer. Well, again. This seems fine. We'll put the Narc Amoeba on the bottom. I feel like we have to get pretty lucky in order to win this game. Not a single opponent yet has done the correct thing, which is to put me on the play. It's a trick that you can do when you're facing Manalist Dredge, is always put the Manalist Dredge player on the play, so that way you get a free card. Has not happened yet. We'll pass. Land number two. And preordain. Two cards on the top. That's pretty scary. Move to discard. Stinkweed imp in the graveyard. Also, what a league. Like, I was like, you know, I want to face fair blue decks, and instead we've had a prison deck and three combo decks so far. Not exactly our ideal situation. I'm going to dredge in response. Okay, I will dredge in response. So you have surgicals. Um, Phantasmagorian, then Phantasmagorian again. Their surgical will now fizzle. I get to draw a card. And we will dredge. Yes. Please don't kill me. Please do not kill me. Uh, I guess I'll put a Phantasmagorian into play. How often does that happen? <laughs> If you told me that this was the first ever Phantasmagorian to be on the battlefield, I might believe. All right, opponent is at 10 life. Let's see if we can get lucky for a win here. Upkeep Icarid. I definitely want to bring you back. We will dredge the Golgari Grave Troll. We hit Flare of the Hatebound. Okay. Can we find a win? The ball therapy target you. Sacrificing Narcomoeba. Jeez, that's me. Oh, I guess I don't have any bridges. That's really awkward. So even if I had Flare... Hmm, this is bad. I think we're dead. I guess one of the few ways we could win this is if, for some reason, they draw seven in response, don't find a force, and then the Flare kills them, so we're going to go for that. Yeah, not hitting a bridge here was very bad for us. Okay. So we've lost this one. Bummer. Try it again. Game number three? No, I don't want to be on the play. Okay, so we have Chancellor plus Dredger. We'll keep. Reveal the Chancellor of the Annex. Ponder is countered. Draw. And then we will discard Stinkweed Imp past the turn. Turn to show and tell. All right, I'll put Hogak in. Ooh, if I had put in Chancellor, I guess this can't be counted. I was just done no matter what. Fine, you can have your easy win. We're one in three. Not so great, but also not the matchups we wanted when we registered this deck. It's unfortunate, but sometimes that happens. Let's try to win match number five. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. All right, the fifth and final round, we will keep. Little disappointed in our matchups today, but I still think that this deck, you want to get paired against Fair Blue. It hasn't happened yet. Let's see if it can happen in match five. 
depths. So no was the answer. You could have just said that, Magic Online. You will not have fun today. And I could have done something else. All right. So we're facing the deck that plays crop rotation into Bajuka Bog. It, things are not going to be fun. Vespian Stage. No! I, I guess I could still do it in the upkeep. Okay. Whew. Uh, we will discard some cards here. All right. Now we'll dredge. Pass the turn. Burning Catacombs. We will use the Phantasmagorian. If they have crop rotation, I'm just dead. So it's worth noting that if we had another shadow, it would be better than Prized Amalgam here because I could put a win on the stack. Uh, we can't do that with Prized Amalgam. So maybe the Prized Amalgam should be Nether Shadows. Okay, we'll dredge four. Brutal. Swing. So we'll sacrifice the Icarid and then get two prized amalgam. Our opponent fetches. You have a spirit guide or a crap rotation for Yavamaya. That also works here. So we are dead. Ooh. All right. So that was a loss, and we don't actually have anything for this matchup other than the fact that we could make their creature a little bit smaller with Contagion. Um, yeah, let's try that, and we'll board out two Amalgams. Game number two, I do not want to be on the play. And do we keep this? I'm not sure. It has a Dredger, just kind of lackluster. I don't think I'm allowed to mulligan, so I guess we'll keep. And they did nothing on their first turn, which is a little bit weird. Okay, and now we'll dredge. Discard a Golgari Grave. I'm sorry, Golgari Thug. Herborg. Surgical on my Icarids. That's not very nice. Okay. I'll attempt to dredge. Trigger. And here's the crop rotation. For Bajuka Bog. We'll pass the turn. They play a Verdant Catacombs and pass. Discard the Golgari Grave Troll. All right, so they have four lands. What is the play here? Invasion of Ikoria. So this can go get them a Vampire Hex Mage. Okay. We will draw and then dredge the Golgari Grave Troll. Not exactly the best reveal. Here. We didn't have another dredger, which is really unfortunate because I wanted to be able to grief them here. So they use the invasion on their uh, battle, and now it will flip to an 8-8 creature. Elvish Reclaimer, and another Hexmate. Sure. I'll take 8. We will draw and dredge. ay 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 No bridges. No Narcomibas. Am I just dead? I guess I should grief them. They have a pair of land. Okay. Right now, they have 11 damage and I'm at 12. But any land to the graveyard kills me. Including that Dark Depths if they were willing to make a Merit Lodge in their main. Okay, do they see the line? They do. That's lethal. Alright, so this league, not ideal. We faced Prison, three combo decks, and then a deck with Crop Rotation and a Bazooka Bog. If you had to pick like the worst possible matchups for this league, this might have been it. Um, my overall thoughts are I would still play Chancellor and Grief in the main deck, but I think I would cut the prize to Melgums for the Nether Shadows. Other than that, I thought the deck list was fine. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, what you would do. I don't know if I'll agree with you, but I'm certainly open to feedback because I'm always looking to grow as a player, but also make my decks better. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.